and welcome to yet another Scratch tutorial. Today we're going to be making Subway Surfers. First set the size to something smaller. Let's set it to 50. Now we're going to be needing a ground. Let's go to choose a sprite and let's click on paint. Now let's select the rectangle tool and choose a color for our ground. Okay, let's draw a rectangle on the bottom of the screen. I think that's good. Okay, let's rename the costume to ground and we'll also need to rename the sprite to ground. Let's go back to our code and the first thing we'll need to do is center our ground on the screen. Let's go to events. When green flag clicked, go to zero, zero. All right, now let's also position our cat. Let's go back to sprite one and let's rename this the player. And that's when we also need a when green flag clicked, Go to X100, minus 100, and Y minus 50. So when we click on that, our cat should go right to this position, and we're going to be adding gravity later on. So he falls to the ground. There's another sprite that we need to add, and that's Subways. Scratch actually has some default sprites. Let's click on Choose a Sprite. They don't have a subway, but they do have a truck. Now we'll need to make him the truck a little bit smaller. Let's set the size to 70 and that's good. Now we also need to position the truck on the screen. Let's drag out when green flag click. Go to X200 and Y minus 50. So when we click on this, our truck should actually go to the right side and we actually need our truck to be on the ground. Let's drag the truck to the center of the screen and make sure the tires are touching the ground perfectly like that. And let's copy the X, Y position. Great, now we need to start making clones. One easy way to do this, let's go to controls. Drag out forever. Let's wait two seconds and then let's create a clone of myself. Now we need to hide the default sprites. And when we start as a clone, we need to show it. So when I start as a clone, then show. And let's also make the truck move from the right side of the screen to the left. Let's go to motion and let's make our truck is first facing towards the left. Let's drag out point in direction. So 90 is facing the right. So let's make him face backwards by using minus 90. Then we need to set rotation style left right. You'll see our truck is facing now towards the left. And now we need the truck to move to the left. And let's drag out repeat until. Now we're going to be repeating until our X position is less than minus 300, which is all the way on the left side of the screen. Then after we delete the left side, let's delete this clone. And we actually need to be changing our X by a negative value. Let's try minus 5. Now we need the player to have some gravity. Let's go to our player and let's make a variable called Y. Make sure it's for this sprite only. And I'm also going to be deleting this my variable since we won't need it. Now I'm going to hide the Y variable. So when green flag is clicked, we need to set out, set the gravity to zero. And let's drag out a forever loop. Now we're going to be creating three messages. Let's go to events and drag out broadcast message one. Let's click on new message and we're going to be calling this collisions. All right. Now we're going to make another one. A new message called collision detection. Oh. 
and the last message is gonna be called update. When I receive collision detection, let's check if we're touching the truck. So if touching truck, so let's drag out stop all, which is the scratch version of die. And then let's actually run our gravity code. We're going to be using when I receive update and then inside of here let's change our Y by our gravity variable. And let's make a block called physics. And we're going to be checking run without screen refresh in our physics block. Let's drag out change y by minus 1 so we'll always be moving down. And then let's detect if we're touching the ground. So let's drag out if touching ground. Now we don't only want to have the player only touching ground. He's also going to be touching some trucks also. Let's go to operators and drag out this or block. We're going to be detecting if we're touching the ground or we're touching the truck. Let's put that back in the if statement. Let's move out of the ground or the truck. So let's drag out a repeat until and then let's right click on this block or press duplicate. And we need to repeat until we are not touching ground. So we need to move up out of the ground. So let's change y by 1 and then after we move out of the ground Let's set our y variable or the gravity to zero. Now we need to be able to jump. So let's go to control and drag out if key space press. Then let's set y to 10. back to our update and drag out our physics and put it under change. Why by why? Now in subway surface you can run on top of subways and that's what we want to happen in this also. Let's go back to our truck first. We need to set up something in the costumes. Let's go to our costumes, and the first thing we're going to be doing is moving the trucks a little bit to left. Let's select our selection tool, and select all of our trucks and all the stuff inside of it. And move our truck to the left, and we're going to be moving it to the left until the end of our truck is lined up with the center of the crosshair. Just like that. Now let's do all of that on all the costumes. Okay. Now we need a hitbox. So our hitbox is gonna be our right, it's gonna be right here on the front of our truck. Let's press, let's right click, press duplicate. So let's draw a hitbox right on the front fender right here. And let's rename this costume hitbox. So if the cat touches that hitbox, then we're gonna die. Now we don't want the hitbox to have anything else in it. So let's delete the trailer, the wheels, and this front carriage. Now we have our hitbox on the screen. Now before we need to switch to our hitbox before the cat detects it, if it can have gravity on it. So let's go to our code and we're going to be dragging out when I receive collision. Now when we receive collisions, we need to switch costumes to hitbox. And then when I receive updates, let's switch costume to our truck. So before the cat touches the truck and moves out of it, we will switch to our hitbox and after now update message, we'll switch back to the regular truck costume. We won't be able to see this because it's running a lot of times a second, about 30. Now you see I can jump along the top of the trucks, but if I touch the front, we die. 
So that's it for episode 1 of our Subway Surface series. Make sure to stay tuned for episode 2 by liking and subscribing.